Feature Friday. The freshest. <sighs> this has been very requested lately. His name is Dimas Senopati. Nice. And he is from Indonesia. Cool, cool, and cool. And I think from what people were saying, he likes to do a lot of rock stuff. So let, let's give it a watch. We don't know much about him. But this is it, an acoustic cover though, but that's cool. That's what he says. It's been very requested lately. So let's give it a watch. Okay. Maybe you guys know that Bali's a big rock fan. It is Skid Row 18 Alive. Nice, nice. Ooh, but it's so beautifully equalized though. Also, filming is 10 out of 10. It a slash. It does, yes. What are we, back in a time machine? That's what I mean by like... We're in a time machine. We're back in the 80s. What is this? The Indonesian talent pool is so interesting. Oh, it's so versatile because they've got such a multicultural melting pot of influences musically yeah. that when you see these things, you're like... Oh. Also, st music styles like are so... You never know what you're gonna get. Uh, correct. As soon as we get a request from like you know the Indonesian music industry, I'm ne I'm always like, Wh what whatever genre is it gonna whatever be? Whatever it might be, because you never know. He's bloody reading at the same time. Well, Equalize. Oh, it's beautifully equalized. That is absolutely phenomenal. So many dynamics. Yeah, and techni technically wise, like technically, uh, he is clean yeah, as hell. Very, very good. That, yes. What were you gonna say? No, I was just uh, technique wise. Yeah, because technical, technically speaking, rock has a very little vibrato and it's a very straight tone to have a singing uh, idea. The have whole a look at Taka from One Okay Rock. Correct. He is a really good example of a straight tone when singing punk and and rock. But obviously, so the elongation of the notes. It depends a lot in your natural resonance and how you can learn to anchor through it. And his anchoring is actually so spot on, but he's also leaning a little leaning a little bit forward. So he's creating a lot of tension naturally in the larynx because his his posture is pushing forward that area too. Yes. So it it is it is like a really cool complement like ele compilation of elements that are bringing forward that brightness that is not twangy, but it, it still maintains the rock effect without any other extravagant ideas. It's really clean technique. Also, the larynx flexibility, dude. We don't have, there hasn't been that many singers in the... Look at this man shredding an acoustic guitar. There hasn't been that many singers right now. Uh, you don't see that many singers impressive. that launch uh, with this type of sound, oh, uh, yeah. especially right now in the modern era, you know, since like 2010 to like 2023. Very rare to find singers that kind of have this, you know, Led Zeppelin. Um, That's what I'm saying. They we're back in a tank machine, AC, which DC, is like freaking cool. Traditional rock. Yeah, Axl Rose style. Like, you know, come on. Talking. Vocal qualities. Because, yes. I mean, rock is certainly not dying. No, 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 no. It's not number one anymore. That's fucking for sure. 
But it has is a he, it, has it has his, his crowd. big audience. Yeah. Yes, he has a big crowd. A lot of old bands are coming back. That's true. That's true. They're, They're still, still touring. Tour. There is a, there is a crowd. There there is a big market still. Um, but it's rare to find singers yes. that are willing to completely stylize their singing towards a genre that you know it's not like ballad or power vocal. It's not very TikToky. You know yes, what I mean? It's true. It's not That's very actually commercial correct. per se. So good on him. I. I the, I like the, the the uniqueness of it. It gives you a, a breath of fresh air, you know. I, I, the fact that it's so accurate to the a genre and it's specific to that time, it's so it's such an amazing thing to witness. I would love to see a full band a live. Yeah, thing. I agree. I agree. This is very impressive. This guy is like shredding that acoustic guitar. Also, I love the subtle layers. Yeah, they are. They're really nice though, they're really delicate. They're actually gorgeous. Yeah, they're very subtle. Oh, I would love Oh, he would make a one of his rock covers so well. That's my request, that's our request. This is so good. That guy has pipes. Woo! Guitarist. Oh my god. So he likes to do yes. a lot of acoustic stuff. Yes. Very. Into, he does. A, oh, he did fucking Michael Jackson beat it. Oh, play it. Come on. So many different styles. Just beat it. You better run. You better do what you can. This larynx is like what? Yeah, yeah, they're so lifted. They're so great. Beat the bed, do what you can, so beat it. But you wanna be bad, just beat it, beat it. No one wants to be defeated. That is brilliant. Like the vocal work is insane. It's your fight. It doesn't matter who's wrong or right, just beat it, beat it. Just beat it, beat it. Just beat wow, the harmony it, work is brilliant. The outer get you better level you can. Can we just have a moment for that guitarist as well, sir? Right. It's good, okay? Also, he's got such a brilliant definition of like vocal layers and like how to work with his own vocals. Yeah, he's not new. I I, I refuse to believe uh, that he's sort of just done this this year and that's it. I think he's been singing for a he's very He's been long, singing for a really long, long, time. long time. I like the partnership they have going on. Yeah, this is really cool. What's his name? Look at that! Guitar. Jafar Ak Ahmad. Jafar. Yes, sir! He's treating that acoustic guitar like it's an electric. And as soon as they sit down, let's do a couple, mate. Let's yeah. Do a couple of songs. And just like, just enjoy they it. They slip not, they did Michael Jackson. That is so freaking cool, What a cool, cool attitude man. towards it. Like, very, very, very cool. I'm going to subscribe on your behalf. Yeah? Yes, please and do. And everyone should do the same. This was awesome. Absolutely phenomenal! What a great find! I'm really interested to see what he would, uh, what he could make with like a, a one OK rock kind of song. He would be so good at that. Also interested to see what he would make himself, like what his original work would sound like, because uh, those like really rock forward uh, vocals and like the way that he treats acoustic covers in a very rock forward idea. It would be really interesting what he would compose himself. Very intriguing. And he's got this a, is great. He's got a lot of covers and like millions of views. Yes, this well is deserved. It. This has like nearly five million. Oh, it's What's Up. I love this song. This is an immortal song. So I cry sometime when I'm lying bad, just get yeah, this is, this, is, this is the era where yeah. he would shine them. Correct. What a, what a wonderful Anyways. time to think of bringing back, you know? Let us know what you guys thought about it. And uh, apart from that, goodbye.